Hi folks, welcome to my humble workstation or home office or production facilities, whichever term suits you best. <laughs> I'd like to give you a little desk tour today, uh, show you each item I have on and about my desk and how I use it. Let's uh, take a look around, shall we? Okay, well, such as it is, this is it. Uh, we'll start over here, far left, and uh, on this Griffin tablet stand is the fourth generation Apple iPad. This is the 64 gigabyte storage version. Um, I had an iPad 2 uh, with 32 gig and it didn't take long to realize that 32 gig was not enough storage. Um, I've taken the philosophy now that any device that I buy, I buy with as much storage as I can possibly get at that time because there's no such thing as too much storage so that's the 64 gig version and I believe right now I've got about 40 gig unused so that should last me indefinitely or until I upgrade whichever comes first I, I keep that handy uh, I read on that more than anything else um, but I keep it handy um, I notice some people keep Twitter feeds open when they're desk working uh, when you're on a monitor or whatnot um, I keep it from messaging more than anything else. Um, as far as working at a desk goes, I, um, I, I, I am on Twitter, but I'm on, not on it religiously, so I don't keep the feed open. But um, that's that. Uh, next to that, we have the Blue Yeti USB microphone. Uh, I use that for voiceovers. Um, I have not had a lot of opportunity to experiment with it as yet. I've only recently got it. Um, but what little bit I've experimented with it so far, I've been very impressed. Um, hope to put it to better use in the near future. Um, next to that, we'll come down here. This is my primary machine these days. This is the uh, early mid, I can't remember exactly what portion of the year it was released, but the, the 2011 um, MacBook Air, Apple MacBook Air. Um, I got this not too terribly long before the the Retina came out, so this is not the Retina version. Uh, this is uh, spec'd out with eight gigabyte of RAM and 512 gig of SSD. Uh, again, I, I maxed it out. Um, I believe the stock option these days is four gig of RAM and 128 gig of storage, solid state storage. Uh, which is, in my opinion, not enough for any kind of serious use. Uh, it might be for for light use, uh, home surfing, but I'm, I actually use it to work. Um, I, I will be editing this video on that machine. Uh, so I, I maxed it out when I got it again in the hopes that it would last me uh, indefinitely um, or until I decided to upgrade. But uh, I, as far as a laptop goes, I don't see me upgrading anytime soon. That should last me. Uh, a few years, if not indefinitely. Um, uh, we'll come back to that, uh, oh, well, next to the MacBook Air. This is uh, my daily driver cell phone. This is the Apple iPhone 5. Uh, this is also 64 gig storage. Um, it is on my person pretty much 24 hours a day, if not on my person, next to my person. Um, I uh, hear at home, um, at work, any desk I happen to be sitting uh, at at any given moment, uh, th that phone is in an arm's reach away, um, messaging primarily. Um. Okay, let's come down here a ways. Let's take a look. This is the brain of this set up for the moment. Uh, this is an HP Pavilion PC. I do not have the model number. Uh, I have not pulled it out to read it off the back of it and I actually, I'm ashamed to say I cannot find my documentation, my purchase documentation for it. So I do not have the exact model number, but this uh, was purchased the tail end of 2009, beginning of 2010, if memory serves. Uh, I know it is a 750 gig hard drive. 8 gigabyte RAM, um, built-in card reader. Uh, it came with DVD rewrite. I have upgraded it to 
a Samsung aftermarket Blu-ray read-write uh, and you'll see down beside is a little USB hub um, I have not needed that of late but there was a time when I had several USB devices going and I needed more than just the two ports that were in front of the machine um, as you can see I have one occupied at the moment with the flash drive uh, I am using that less and less these days since I got the MacBook Air and I in all honesty believe I will be moving on from this to an iMac before 2013 is over. Um, that's not set in stone, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I, I, again, as I said, I'm, I'm doing most of my computing on the MacBook Air these days. I, about the only thing I do on this machine anymore is financials, uh, and primarily because most of my personal finance uh, is done on Microsoft Money. Uh, which is also out of production, so it's a very old version of Microsoft Money. But anyway, I, I'll probably be transferring everything to Quicken so I can run it uh, in a Mac setting and and do away with, or, or set this aside. I mean, I won't get rid of it. I'll keep it because you never know. But I, I'll be removing this as uh, the soul of this setup, so to speak. Uh, but for the time being, it's there, and it, it's it never give me a great deal of problem. It was a refurb, actually, but it's... It's never given me a look of trouble. I've been very content with it. Uh, it is attached to a Microsoft keyboard, uh, media digital media pro keyboard. Uh, that's also got some edge on. I believe I got that about the same time as the PC, if not right after. Um, and I probably should replace it if I wasn't thinking about iMac. I would go ahead and replace it. I've just about worn the action out of the keyboard. It's it's kind of painful on my hands anymore if I use it in long stretches. Uh, but again, since I'm thinking about before too terrible much longer, you know, moving on to a different machine, I'm just kind of living with it for the time being. And a Logitech USB Track Man. Uh, again, had that about as long as I've had the machine. I like the, the trackball better than a mouse. It's easier on the wrist. I don't believe this model is even made anymore. I will tell you how much age it has on it. And all of it is viewed through a ViewSonic LCD monitor. It is the ViewSonic VA721. It's a 17-inch LCD monitor. Um, uh, another reason I'm thinking about upgrading to iMac is a larger monitor. Um, and if I'm going to sink the expense into a new monitor, I may as well go ahead and complete my transition to the Apple ecosystem. Uh, but again, I, it, it's been it's been very uh, well well used. I, it served me well, is what I'm trying to say, uh, and have had no complaints about it. I, if I need an external monitor for any other reason, I would certainly not rule out another view Sonic. And while we're down here, I'll point this out as well. This is the Canon uh, PowerShot SD1000 Digital Elf uh, little pocket camera. I, I, this camera is probably the oldest <laughs> device in this setup. I bought that in the summer of 2007. It is a 7.1 megapixel uh, digital handheld camera. Uh, of course those of you in the know understand that the iPhone 5 has an 8 megapixel camera so uh, this little fellow is already uh, substandard compared to smartphone cameras. However, this has been 200 of the best dollars I ever spent. I have had digital cameras since the late 90s. Uh, I have, I believe I had three if I'm remembering correctly before this one. Uh, they were all bulky uh, and, I, I, and I'm sorry I don't even recall the exact models I had. I know one was a Kojak, Kodak and one was a Fuji uh, and I'm remember forgetting what the third one was but anyway none of them were uh, physically comfortable they took too long to advance to the next shot the, uh, the, the they used the smart card the the larger smart card media the, so the media was frustrating offloading images was frustrating um, I got this off Amazon in the summer of 07 and wondered where it had been all my life. I, it, this was a revelation. I, I, I guess I'm just so emotionally attached to it. I still use it on occasion. 
Uh, yes, I take a lot of photos with the iPhone um, and with this camera I'm holding right now, but I, I still carry this with me on occasion. Um, it, it takes good shots. It's easy to use. Uh, I just I don't see any reason to, to get rid of it, so it's, it's still here and still gets some use. Okay, so moving up a ways, let's take a look up top. Uh, these two devices on the left is uh, an RCA cable modem. Uh, it also serves uh, digital voice. Uh, Comcast Xfinity is my service provider, so that's where that comes into the house. Next to that on the right is the 2 terabyte Apple time capsule. This is the, the, the latest model. I believe it's third generation if memory serves. Um, fourth generation, fourth generation, I'm sorry. Uh, this has also been a very pleasant surprise. I, I bought it kind of on a whim. I wasn't in, really in need of a new router, but I saw a YouTube video review of it, and it talked about the the, t the time machine back, the automated time machine backups, and I had just gotten the MacBook Air, and it seemed like a good idea. So kind of on a lark, I got it. Um, but I've been very pleased with it. It, it, it of course serves as the, the router and uh, network storage. Uh, it is only storing backups though. I, I'm not having any actual uh, media storage on it. Uh, I'd rather save the room for the backups. Um, my, my MacBook Air and my uh, significant others MacBook Pro are being backed up to that. However, the USB uh, port in the back of the time capsule is, if I can get a, probably can't see it because I've got it squeezed back in there. Yeah, you see a little blue light for it. Back in there I have an S, uh, Seagate GoFlex portable hard drive attached to it. I use that for network storage. I've got um, pretty much all of our digital copies of movies on that instead of having them take up room on the Mac, MacBook Air um, and some other uh, files backed up to it that I just for redundancy purposes. But um, those are there, and I've been uh, again been very very happy with the time capsule. It was a little pricey, but I, I think for what all it does and how and how well it performs, it was well worth it. I actually get better uh, Wi-Fi range around the house out of this than I did with the Linksys router I was using before it. Okay, and uh, without just for the sake of completeness, that is a Dymo uh, Laser Rider Turbo 400 Turbo uh, that rarely gets used. I've had that for a few years got it for uh, shipping labels when I was selling a few things on eBay and and it simplified things but uh, quite frankly I, I haven't used it in in a while um, but under the pack rats credo of as soon as you get rid of it you'll find a reason to have it I've not gotten rid of it so uh, there it stays uh, when the the day comes the iMac comes in here and I may need that uh, desk space I may divest myself of it but the time being it's it's still here uh, landline telephone next to it uh, again rarely used uh, I'm like most folks in today's world I'm pretty much cellular only um, but being the uh, son of a 40-year employee of Bell South I, I can't uh, completely cut away from the landline philosophy so there's still well and I say landline it's actually not landline it's a digital voice um, cable, uh, you know, VOIP, um, but nonetheless there's you know, another means of communication coming into the house. And next to that is the controller for the PC speakers, uh, which you see one and two. That's an Alltech Lansing uh, 2.1 PC stereo system. I, again, I'm sorry, I do not have the model number. Uh, I'll find it, maybe put it in the comments down below if I can come up with it. I've, I've had this particular stuff. Oh, and down, of course, down here is Barry back is the subwoofer. Um, uh, I, again, sorry, do not have the specs for it. I can't tell you what kind of performance it uh, has. Uh, all I can give you is uh, a subjective uh, uh, <laughs> description. Uh, for what they are, computer speakers, I think they're terrific. Uh, I don't listen to a whole lot of music through the PC, um, but w what I have that sounds very good. Um, I've not watched much movie type media in here, but again, what little bit I have, uh, the sound is very clear. The subwoofer puts out pretty good bass, especially tucked back there, resonating off the wood of the desk. Um, 
if the need came to replace them, I would certainly uh, start looking at Alltech Lansing again. I've been very, very pleased with them. Uh, I wish I could remember how long. I know I've had them. Oh, Lord, it has to be oh four, oh five. They, they've got some age on them. But, but again, uh, very, very happy with them. I probably didn't pay $80 for them way back in the day. And uh, they've uh, definitely served me well. And not that it has anything to do with tech. You see the uh, smattering of knickknacks here on the top shelf of my desk. I, uh, I see a lot of these uh, desk tour videos and, and folks talk about how uh, clean and uncluttered they prefer their desks and, and I'm as OCD as the next guy. Of course, I, I prefer non-clutter, but the whole point of a desk is to do things and doing things often requires things, so there are going to be things on the desk. Uh, the, actually, the way it is right now is a little bit unusual. I generally have a few piles of papers here and there. Uh, but these knickknacks up top, just uh, sentimental mementos, a few things I've gathered through my working years. Uh, there's a couple of little mascot dolls from uh, baseball, football teams. Um, you see the Augusta Green Jackets uh, fellow back there, uh, Cocky the Gamecock, Splash, the Myrtle Beach Pelicans uh, mascot, um, Magic 8 Ball. I think my boss gave me that for... Christmas years and years and years ago. Um, that little tiger fellow. Uh, my grandfather gave me that when I was a very small child. I can't remember exactly how young I was, and I can't remember, can't remember exactly why, but my grandfather gave it to me, so I've, I've held on to it. And, as with any working desk, uh, writing utensils, pens, pencils, markers, sharpies, uh, there must be some kind of storage for uh, bills, invoices, documents, uh, whatnot, so that's there. Uh, now we come over here to output. Uh, this, well, I guess I started to say that's the primary, but I guess I probably use them about equal. You see, I have two printers. Uh, the one up top, that's the HP PhotoSmart. Let me see if I can recall the, the proper name. Uh, HP PhotoSmart Premium Web uh, All in One Unit. Uh, it's inkjet, is uh, flatbed scanner, um, copier, uh, inkjet printer, color inkjet printer. Uh, that is wireless, so it tends to be the network. I I do not have the the laser, we'll come to that, uh, networked in, uh, so all computers in the house can access it. This, this Since this printer is wireless, all computers in the house can access it, so it tends to be the one that gets used the most, but I, I need to, to rectify that. Um, bought this one I bought the the HP Pavilion PC. Um, I've read some Midland reviews of it uh, and admittedly I have not put it through heavy use but for what I have asked of it it has performed very well. Uh, it prints quickly. Uh, there's not a lot of downtime. Uh, scanning, is, uh, scanning and faxing are easy with it. Uh, I, I can't remember what I paid for it but it's been worth it. I, I've had it almost four years now. Don't see a need to replace it. Uh, I've probably only changed ink cartridges in it uh, twice, three times at the most. Um, very reliable machine, very happy with it. It works well. Coming down, that is, this is the laser. Uh, this should be the primary. Laser is cheaper than inkjet. This is also an HP. This is the P2035 uh, laser printer. It is not duplexable. I kind of wish I had that, but that cost more, so I for, forewent that. Um, again, uh, not a lot of heavy use, but for what I need it for, it does very well. Um, I need to have this run into the time capsule so it could be the network printer, but I have not worked up the gumption to do that as yet. Um, I'm, I actually don't think I could realistically, you know, given physically where the time capsule is in relation to it, I, I don't know if, how I would run USB to it without there being wires all across the wall, but I'll, I'll figure that out at some point. And in the far corner, a bookshelf with some software, uh, graphic novels, um, how-to books, a few other things. Um, Go Falcons. Well, well, we'll take it all the way next year. Uh, <laughs> uh, and that's, that's the working wall of this office. Um, I'm not going to turn around and show you the rest of it because the other half uh, belongs to the significant other and it doesn't quite flow as logically <laughs> as mine does. I'll pay for that. Uh, 
Well, folks, that's the tour. Hope you liked what you saw. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. I greatly appreciate it. I uh, hope we can do this again sometime soon. See you down the road a ways.